simply to keep him in the game, John's heart and lungs are working at their limit. But by doing so, they're placing him in mortal danger. Blood is being forced faster and faster through his diseased coronary arteries. Flowing at five times their normal speed, blood cells eddy and swirl around his plaques. Bombarded by red blood cells, one fragile plaque is under unbearable strain. Its thin membrane is ripped open. Within moments, blood cells start to clot around the rupture. Anywhere else in John's body, this clotting response might save his life. But here, in his narrow artery, the effect is quite the opposite. The clot in John's artery traps more and more passing blood cells. It grows bigger, and the flow of blood to John's heart slows down. Downstream, the heart muscle cells are in peril. Their oxygen supply is dwindling just when they need it most. His starving cells send pain signals to his brain. But John has never experienced pain from his heart before. To him, it feels just like indigestion. Jimmy, your lunch too fast, John. Perhaps the old man better off in gold. He has no idea that this is the start of a heart attack. The growing clot is now blocking two thirds of his artery. John's indigestion is getting worse. feels a vice-like pain in his left arm. His brain is confused, overloaded with the escalating pain signals coming from his heart. For the first time in his life, the regular beat of John's heart is under threat. of four million muscle cells is running low on oxygen. John, what's up? What's the matter? Five minutes after his heart attack began, John's body is struggling to deal with the crisis. His brain has triggered a surge of the hormone adrenaline into his bloodstream. This is one of the most primitive and powerful reactions in the human body. Adrenaline arrives in his heart and soaks into its inner walls. The pacemaker begins to accelerate. John's heart is racing at 140 beats per minute, even faster than when he was running around. But now all its efforts are focused on its own starving muscle. Call an ambulance. But adrenaline can do nothing about the growing clot, which fills 90% of his artery. The supply of oxygen to his heart cells is down to a trickle. They are forced to shut down the function which absorbs most of their energy. They stop beating. Leaving the rest of his heart to take up the slack. John's weakened heart cannot sustain its beat much longer. We're just playing a game of football. Uh, 
How's the pain now, John? OK. He loves football, John. It's now 15 minutes since his heart attack began. And the flow of blood through John's artery is almost totally blocked. The heart muscle cells no longer have the energy to hold themselves in one piece. Their thin membranes are starting to leak. John's injured heart is wearing itself out. Its beat is getting weaker. The effects are beginning to tell on the rest of his body. John is struggling to breathe because his lungs are filling with fluid. As his heart weakens, blood backs up in the vessels coming from his lungs. The extra pressure forces liquid out of his blood into the air sacs of his lungs. If the process doesn't stop, he could drown in his own body fluid. You must keep this on. Nice steady breaths now. Well done, mate. Bringing in a 45 year old male, possible MI, ETA three minutes, over. Just hold on, John. We're nearly there. They'll sort you out. The lack of oxygen in John's body is beginning to affect his brain. He's dizzy and disoriented. Time is running out for John. His starved heart muscle cells are beginning to burst and die. If he's not treated within the next 20 minutes, his heart will be so badly damaged it will never beat normally again. What's the story? John Palmer, 45 year old, collapsed with chest pains playing football, no plasticity, a bit hypertensive, BP 90 over 50, tachycardia 120. When did your pain start, John? I don't know. They said about half an hour ago. Don't worry, John. We'll soon have you sorted out. Are you his friend? Yeah. Do you know if he's got a heart problem? Can you give his details to reception? Right, let's do a 12 lead quick as you can, please. Okay, one, two, three. John is losing 500 heart cells each second. And unlike most cells in his body, they can never be replaced. He's had a big anterior MI, we have to thrombolize him. No contraindications, so let's give him some TPA. By measuring the pattern of electricity in John's heart, the ECG locates the dying patch of muscle. Now his only hope is that his blocked artery can be cleared by a clot-busting drug, tissue plasminogen activator, or TPA. The TPA must reach the clot before so many heart cells die that his heart stops and he dies too. John's heart muscle has been reconnected just in time. Susie, hi, customer for you. Only Can half a million John cells have been lost. The survivors are starting to beat once more. His condition has stabilized. <laughs> 